Hi guys, let me quickly show you a recipe for healthy kind of ingredients that you can use, natural, you know, uh, ingredients that you can put together, you know, um, as a concoction for you to regain strength, be healthier and be stronger and, uh, you know, to reduce sugar uh, content or any forms of uh, uh, disease associated with uh, blood, things like that. Traditionally in Yoruba, they use the common list, which they call a fairy. This one I'm showing you here, a way a fairy. Yeah, I'm about, I've already started squeezing it, but it also can combine this with another one, which they call egg berry, and it will happen like So these three types of leaves, uh, how call them? Have a leaves. Well, there if you what you're gonna do is just to squeeze them together, weight, uh table salt, maybe two gram of table salt, depending on the amount of uh, leaves you've put together. So I'm going to start doing that, squeeze them with the salt, and also I'll show you how they produce the the the, the fluid from it. So how it's going to be like I believe it's going to taste it really really you know uh bitter but it's good for health. So follow me this video I'll really quickly show you. Uh the way to maintain healthy to help their body and you know um, maybe you are trying to slim a bit or you're trying to slim fit or you're trying to make sure you reduce the amount of sugar level in your blood and things like that. So I think a way eight mini if only I will apalapa. Squeeze them with salt will help you with table salt will help you to you know uh, get that have and medicine. So I put some in this um, squeezing them now you make sure you wash it you wash the leaves before you start uh, squeezing them like this make sure they are washed properly and then you start squeezing it yeah. at this point i can put some salt in this oh, not too much let me say about uh, one gram for now let me show you how it looks now this so far this is what i've been squeezing and um, put some salt in it as well. I'm squeezing it with my both hands. For now, I'm using one hand because my I'm holding the camera with another hand. So I can need to squeeze it, the water, the uh, the fluid coming from it, so greenish, very dark, and then uh, well, you know, I need to squeeze it to get uh, all the contents from the leaves, you know. And then this is a medicine, a yoga form of medicine, traditionally African herbal medicine. This one has not been squeezed. The one I squeezed, I put them here in this one. This one I've squeezed them already. Yes, sir. I can still mix them together. I'm going to squeeze it with the fresh leaves of a egg eggberry, and a will lapa lapa. It's called lapa lapa leaves. Yeah, so I've just removed the sheets or call it the remaining part of the leaves here yeah, and then um, get the liquids 
into the cup. This is almost like about um, 600 uh, mils in this cup. So, and then, um, you know, I put a little bit of uh, salt before. Let me just, I'm gonna, let me have a little taste of it to see how it tastes like. Mm. Ah, extremely bitter. I'm going to add a little bit of salt. Let me just say half spoon of, sp of salt. Make sure you measure it. But I'm just using this little. So it won't be too. It doesn't have to be. You don't have to try to change the taste. But salt is also good. You know to balance the equation. This is the. Uh, call it the sheets or whatever the remaining part of the leaves after I've squeezed them the egg berry, egg berry and it will happen happen so I think I've got the all the vital the herbs inside it the, the liquids of I've already squeezed them out from these leaves so um, which is now in this cup so I'm going to try I mean actually put a little bit of water in when I was squeezing it as you see here later on so I'm trying to make sure that there are no more leaves in this liquid. So it's ready to, to be drunk, you know. So I'm going to put it in another cup this way. Uh oh, I'm pouring some on the table. Yeah. Nearly that there's nothing other than just one uh, batch of uh, leaf here. So uh, I think it's almost ready to be drunk. But this can be kept for a few days you can have like uh, maybe uh 20 meals or 30 meals of it it's good it's really in the morning when you wake up have some you know um uh taste of it by drinking 20 to 30 meals or if you like 15 meals so you can drink this let's say this about 500 or 600 meals you can have it for like um three to four days yes drink it so according to uh, native uh, you know, doctors, they say this combination is good for us to have, uh, to maintain good health, to uh, avoid getting blood pressure, to avoid getting excess sugar in your blood as well, and also for your general well-being to be healthier. So I'm going to have some, you know, taste of this this morning. So I've got like 200 and uh, this is just about uh, 20, 30 meters of it. Yep. Mm. It's nice. Mm, it's nice. It's nice. Mm. It's so natural. It's a natural herbal medicine. names for these leaves but for most um, people who understand Yoruba they can also ask to know more or uh, try to find out what's the name of these leaves botanical names for them in their whole native uh, languages well thank you for watching this video I think I just shared this in order to help other people who uh, have been hearing about having to use um, have a medicine uh, kind of a traditional ways of maintaining Healthier living by you know um, keeping yourself and your body uh, blood pressure uh, stabilized and the hustle to reduce the amount of sugar in the body and to be you know free from all forms of uh, mal uh, diseases um, or ailments uh, mostly that hit people in some tropical parts of uh, the world. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel here. Yeah,